10 impressive mega projects in Uganda. Uganda is a landlocked East African country with a varied terrain that includes the snow-capped Arwenzori Mountains and the massive Lake Victoria. Chimpanzees and unusual birds are among the rich biodiversity. The Mountain Gorilla Sanctuary of Bee Windy Impenetrable National Park is located in the remote Bee Windy Impenetrable Forest. Murchison Falls National Park, located in the northwest, is famed for its 43-meter-high waterfall and fauna, including hippos. Sir Winston Churchill referred to Uganda as the Jewel of Africa in his book, My African Journey, published in 1908. Uganda is a country rich in natural resources, topographic characteristics, and lively nightlife scenes, and is known for its beautiful wildlife, stunning colors, and natural beauty. Uganda, being a country of immense beauty, is making multiple efforts to enhance its splendor while also growing its economy. Uganda is in the midst of implementing major and mind-blowing development initiatives in order to better the lives of its population. Here are the top 10 projects highlighting Uganda, the jewel of Africa. Please make sure to like and subscribe to Africa Reloaded before we start the countdown. 10. Kabel Energy Project, $5 million. Energy is the driving force behind any country's economic development. Uganda requires adequate, dependable, and inexpensive energy in order to achieve long-term growth. As a result, energy is a high-priority area for the country's development. Uganda has vast natural resources such as minerals, hydro, geothermal, petroleum, and solar thermal energy, but only a small portion of their potential has been realized. The Rural Cabale Electrification Project is nearing completion of a 33-megawatt power station based on peat technology near Cabale Town in Uganda's southwest. It is aimed at Uganda's social and economic growth, with the goal of increasing power use and improving security through improved lighting systems. The total cost of the project is anticipated to be $5 million. The electricity will be delivered to a government utility. 9. Car Manufacturing Company Uganda's Kiara Motors Corporation is a state-owned automobile manufacturer. The company commercialized an electric solar bus, the first of its kind in Africa, Africa's first electric vehicle in 2011, Africa's first hybrid vehicle in 2014, and Kiara's Motors Kayla prototype electric bus in 2016. With support from a Presidential Initiative for Science and Technology Innovation, the company commercialized an electric solar bus, the first of its kind in Africa. The Kayla EV Est is a fully electric, low-floor city bus with a range of 300 kilometers. The company, which is headquartered in Ntinda, Kampala, Uganda, and is backed by Macro University, which owns 4% of the company, introduced its latest Kayla diesel bus, a 47-seater executive coach, in February 2021. The company's goal is to be able to manufacture all of the parts and build the car in Uganda by 2039. 8. The East African Crude Oil Pipeline $3.5 billion Uganda is having trouble clearing a pipeline route that will transport oil to Tanzania. After nearly four years of negotiations, the project's key partners eventually secured an agreement in April, paving the way for the East African Crude Oil Pipeline to be routed using pegs. The East African Crude Oil Pipeline, also known as the Uganda-Tanzania Crude Oil Pipeline, is a 1,445-kilometer pipeline that would deliver oil from Uganda's oil reserves to Tanga, Tanzania, across the Indian Ocean. When completed, the pipeline will be the world's longest crude oil pipeline. The project's building phase was originally scheduled to begin in August 2016 with a $40 billion cost budget, but due to numerous delegations and conferences, the construction date has been pushed back to July 2021 with a cost estimate of $3.5 billion, with first oil expected in 2025. When the oil is produced, it will be partially refined in Uganda and then exported to the international market via the East African Crude Oil Pipeline. 7. SolarWave Safe Drinking Water Project, $500,000 
Since 2015, Solar Wave Uganda has been one of Uganda's leading specialists in clean and safe drinking water. They've implemented over 400 high-quality water filtration systems for a diverse range of customers, including schools, NGOs, clinics, businesses, farms, and private homes. Solar Wave believes that everyone should be able to access clean, inexpensive drinking water. Thus, it installs, operates, and maintains high-quality drinking water purification technology. Solar Wave is the main provider of safe drinking water solutions in Uganda and East Africa, with headquarters in Kampala, with the goal of saving lives and enabling healthier and happier livelihoods. The private limited corporation embarks on projects to provide potable water. Solar Wave expects to have constructed up to 3,000 water treatment systems in Uganda by the end of 2021 providing safe drinking water to at least a million people at a cost of around $500,000. 6. Kampala Cable Car Project – $200 million Driving a two-kilometer stretch in Kampala during rush hour can take up to an hour. The nature of the traffic congestion that jams up the capital of the East African country is as follows. The Kampala City Council Authority – KCCA – has taken an unusual approach to dealing with this issue. They've already started feasibility studies for a pilot cable car system that will run from the city center to a number of suburbs. The cable car project was started by the Kampala Capital City Authority. In 2014, the authority planned a $200 million urban cable car system to upgrade, expand, and rehabilitate the road network. Kampala has a 1,200-kilometer road network, with 20% of it in fair condition. Kampala is Uganda's most important economic center, accounting for more than 60% of the country's GDP. It's also estimated that traffic bottlenecks cost the economy $135,000 a day in wasted fuel, with commuters losing a total of 2-4,000 hours every day. The current plan for the cable car is for it to travel from the city's outskirts to the city center. This project would reduce pollution, decongest traffic, increase transport connectivity, and beautify Kampala's urban environment. 5. National Fruit and Vegetable Development Project – $120 million The National Fruit and Vegetable Development Project, based in Countrywide, is a $12 million project aimed at processing fruits into dry products and a variety of other products, as well as upgrading vegetable products. The project, which began on the 1st of February 2018 and will expire on the 31st of January 2022, is designed to reduce the threat of post-harvest losses and wastage during bumper harvest. As a result, the estimated $120 million initiative has the potential to generate jobs, generate revenue, and stabilize the market. The National Fruit and Vegetable Development Project's goal is to expand the amount of fruit grown for local, regional, and international consumption. 4. YA International Regional Grain Hub Commercial Grain Trade, Value Addition, Fortification, Packaging, and Branding are all specialties of this organization. It cleans, dries, and stores maize grains in a hub with a capacity of 2,000 metric tons then processes them. The YA International Regional Grain Hub, which is located in the Kapika Nakes district and sections of Wakaizo, Kaboga, is a project of YA International Investment Company Limited, which was established in Uganda on July 27, 2017. The company has a state-of-the-art grain handling and processing facilities in Kapika, 60 kilometers outside of Kampala. The drying capacity of a plant is 10 to 15 metric tons per hour. 3. Mukoki Hydro Power Project – $18 million The Mukoki Hydro Power Project is a 6.5 megawatt, 8,700 horsepower, power station that includes a dam and hydro plant on the Muvumba River in Mukoki, Uganda. The dam and hydro plant are expected to cost $18 million and will be funded by Sri Lankan developers and the Ugandan government. Construction on the project began in September 2015, and power generation began in March 2017. The electricity generated is sold to the Ugandan Electricity Company Limited, bringing in revenue for the government. 
2. Port and Shipping Network at Lake Victoria, $18 million. Lake Victoria is a significant source of revenue for East African communities such as Tanzania, Kenya, and Uganda, as well as their only mode of transportation. This project was designed to solve the urgent need for maritime transportation, which had declined in 2015 as a result of an accident in which two Ugandan ships collided while transporting commodities to and from Tanzania. The goal of the project was to create safe, efficient, cheap, and environmentally friendly transportation systems that would boost fishing and help close the gap between poverty and food security. 1. Kampala Storage Terminal Project – $150 million The Kampala Storage Terminal, or KST, was built on 300 acres of land purchased by the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Development. The project was given to UNOC, which was in charge of the terminal's development and operation. The project development plan has been completed, and UNOC will use a competitive approach to choose a development partner with financing and experience in the development and operation of petroleum terminals. The Kampala Storage Terminal is a project started by the Ugandan government and other strategic partners under the Energy and Mineral Development Commission's petroleum sector. The $150 million construction project, located in Kampala, Uganda's capital city, aims to improve Uganda's petroleum energy, security, and safety. It is expected to take up to five years to complete. Since its inception in 2018, the project has been on track to be finished by 2023. Urbanization is the key to achieving productivity and a path to economic progress in underdeveloped countries like Uganda. Economic growth also provides citizens with better living conditions. Uganda's natural beauty and splendor are matched by its top 10 development projects. Please subscribe to Africa Reloaded for more videos about development in Africa and other topics. And please like, share, and comment on this video.